is Tamim. I'm the chief creative ninja at Ninja Theory and co-founder. Hi, uh, Alex Jones. I'm the uh, co-producer on the project working for Capcom USA. And it's Motohide Eshida. I'm the DMC producer from the Capcom Japan side. Um, Capcom wanted to kind of rebirth the project, if you like. Um, and from our point of view, the, the main thing we wanted to achieve is to preserve the, um, the combat dynamics of the DMC franchise. So chaining, linking, ranking, about being kind of stylish and cool while, while playing. And to um, kind of, if we do our jobs right, it's to combine that with um, kind of Ninja Theory's kind of world building and character and story development. And, um, and work collaboratively to kind of just give it um, a, a new fresh outlook for gameplay and, and for story. Bullet Team primarily is a uh, combat focused demo that touches on, as Tamim put it, the sort of guts of DMC, which is obviously fluid character control, uber responsiveness, all the things that people want from a DMC game. It's where we have put most of our production resources in at, uh, to this point in the game. So it's what we wanted to show off first. We know it's what the fans are most going to want to see in a DMC game. Yeah, so uh, Dante, as well as having his uh, human form with his gunplay and swordplay with the Rebellion, he's also got um, uh, a demon form in which he can uh, pull out different types of weapons and an angel form in which he can do the same. So you've got three sets of weapons and within each set there are multiple versions of weapons as well. So the idea is to um, broaden the amount of weapons and allow you to switch between them on the fly. Um, with Angel and Demon, you're also able to have other abilities like um, gliding or or, fly, or chaining enemies together, flying towards them. Um, but with it, you can also um, manipulate parts of the environment, ripping out parts of the environment, uh, traversing. So we're adding um, some um, kind of dynamics outside of combat to the series. Yeah, so the demons exist in this parallel world. It's a very malignant world and it's a reflection of our world and we're not aware of how they're manipulating us. Um, Dante being uh, having demonic blood is able to traverse into these worlds and see, see the world for what it is from the demonic perspective. So in a, in a sense he can see the truth behind the illusion we all live in and so he's got the power to fight back against the forces that are manipulating us. <laughs> Without going too much into the story at this stage, um, Dante is young He's, um, there's a reason why he's angry. There's a reason why he hates the demons. And that reason is because the demons have affected him personally. But they, as he's growing up, they've affected his life. Like, uh, they, they put people down, the demons, through whatever means. Like, uh, so in the demo, we showed that the demons are surveilling the population through their cameras. But in the demon world, those cameras are, are demonic eyes and things that he's destroying. There's, it's, it's like, you know, <clears throat> it's the same reason the youth today are angry. It's like the, the demonic politicians fiddling expenses, the demonic media moguls um, tapping into our phones and things, and the demonic bankers screwing everyone over. So Dante is, is a tremendously important character to Capcom and, and the Dove May Cry IP, obviously, uh, is you know, part, part of our lifeblood. Uh, so, you know, we did indeed give Ninja a lot of freedom, but, you know, we certainly were involved in that process as well. There was a lot of give and take, a lot of conversations, you know, about uh, directions they wanted to take it, and we were happy to let them drive, uh, but we made sure we were in the passenger seat the whole time as well. We're still nailing down the exact release date, so we don't even have a window at this point. Oh.